Pinas uh, with regard to Cassie's uh, uh, Miss Cassandra Cassandra Ox uh, condition Can you identify yourself? No? I'm Dr. Rafi Valencia from the Medical Dental Service of the House of Representatives Now, as of now, sir uh, may mababa, sir, yung blood sugar uh, So, that's the uh, cause of the dizziness and the weakness But the, the, the vital signs are stable What is the blood sugar? Actually, sir, hindi nga binabasa na ng machine which means that it's too low Mr. Chair, so uh, how we got, uh, can I just ask for confirmation from the doctor if it is true that Ms. Ong refused to eat, refused to drink uh, the soap Coca-Cola that was given her? So, sir, actually, so maybe, are you the right person to answer that question? I think the uh, Ostudia facility. Who is the Ostudia facility of the uh, of the Quad Cop? And you are? Is she not eating? Uh, okay, uh, Mom, identify yourself, please. Sir, please have any moment to bring us from the end of school. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, may specific lang po siyang food na gusto ka eat and every time po rin nagpo-provide kayo ng food sa kanya. So ayaw niya yung ulap na binibigay niya? Ayaw niya? And is it true na kanina umaga you tried to give her coke because mababa na yung sugar niya and she refused to take it? Yes sir, but later on, inunom naman po na. Inunom niya? Yes po. Okay, so the refusal to eat is because of her dislike of the food that you've been giving her. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Chair, as well as the doctor muna. Yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, can we ask the doctor first? Uh, Dr. Rafi Valencia, uh, what would be your advice to our officers uh, 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 present? For sir, the for the meantime, sir, siguro po, uh, we'll try to raise the blood sugar. Now, uh, ask her to drink yung drink niya. Bili tagang po na lang, sir, ng sugar yung high steam. So with that, Just to yes, thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Valencia. With that, Mr. Chairman, uh, can we ask uh, the other officers present? Okay. Which uh, this squad come have by that while okay um, manipulating for that, sir, si Cassandra. Uh, well, in, in our list of interpreters, in, uh, the next in line is Kong Zia. However, is that yeah, Mr. Chair, my questions uh, basically are to Miss Cassio, and I will yield to the next interpreter, interpreter, if they are willing to ask some of the resource persons here. And I'll just wait until uh, Ms. Ong is capable of answering my questions. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I was slated to ask questions to Ms. Ong prior to the episode that we just seen. I believe she had a medical condition which requires direct medical attention. Mr. Chair, we have here the head of our medical, uh, medical director of the House of Representatives who personally assessed and checked, examined Ms. Ong, I would like to ask uh, our doctor here, resident physician, what is now the status of Ms. Ong? What, what's the condition, really? Good evening, Mr. Chair. Good evening, everybody. Um, well, to put it in a nutshell, um, Ms. Uh, Ms. Cassandra Ong is quite unstable as of this moment. No? So definitely, uh, as I saw it earlier, that she had blood sugar was very low. Unreadable now, Dr. even in the even through the RBS, and then now it's uh, it was uh, after giving her some carbohydrates, it was raised to 169. Her blood pressure right now is only 80 over 40, and uh, of course, uh, as the good doctor will also know, uh, we cannot take this one in separate separate blood sugar and uh, blood pressure, so it's all intertwined. So that's why I can say that she's quite unstable now. One thing can affect the other thing. So, uh, so that's it. In fact, if I may say, you know, this morning when we checked her, her blood, her blood, her blood pressure is only 70 over 40, 70 over 40, and we did uh, some uh, some things. You no, know? so but uh, right now, uh, just to let you know, right now we uh, recommended to the Secretary General, and I, I think it will be course through you also 
that uh, she be worked out properly before we can give the proper diagnosis as to what she's having right now. Because we, we actually don't know if it's because of uh, heart failure or, or something like that or, or, or something like that. Sir. So, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair, since, since this morning before since the hearing, yes, her blood pressure is 70 over 40. Yes, that's the lowest that she had since uh, nine days ago. So usually she has 70 over 50, 80 over 50, yeah, 90 over 60. So but for one week, for almost one week, she's been like that. So, so we were trying to see if she can still attend. And actually, we did not uh, propose anything uh, before today. Uh, but uh, 70 40 is really quite alarming, uh, uh, even for us. So we, we gave a recommendation, but uh, uh, I don't know if that will be. Uh, sufficient enough to uh, merit her workup. So, Mr. Chair, sa mga tuwing, Mr. Chair, um, this, this, ano, blood sugar po niya, yes. uh, is it, is it normal, in the normal range, despite uh, gi giving her, uh, despite after giving her the yeah. soft drinks, kasi usually, you have to give her sugar, di ba, in yes. soft drinks and chocolate, yes, so, yes, sir. is this already, you know, normal range? Yes, sir, this is already in normal range, but, uh, of course, just because we gave her the carbohydrates right now. The not, the, not the blood pressure. The blood, blood pressure, pressure is not stable even right now. It's 80-40, sir. So, Mr. Chair, I'd just like to ask, you, you, you're familiar with the proceedings, uh, Doc, no? Mr. Yes. Chair. So, can, what is your suggestion, your, your, you know, based on your expertise and, yes, and, and then based on the, the examination you just con conducted on her, yes. can she be, can she... Can she manage to answer questions from members of this committee having ex after having examined her with all these uh, prognosis with the, with the blood sugar and with the BP and etc. But what is your expert uh, recommendation? My recommendation? Your professional recommendation? My recommendation, Mr. Chair, is for, sh for her to be excused for uh, the, re the remainder of this hearing and then a proper workup should be done to her in the, in the next uh, coming days. So we can finally diagnose her, final diagnosis that we can have. So she can, uh, I understand because she's still here for another 20 days or so. So we should be well aware of what she's really having uh, with a good diagnosis because of all the workup that could probably be done outside, sir, outside. Uh, you know, like to the echo and uh, things like that, sir. So, so Mr. Um, Chair, uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, will I be objecting for her to come back and answer the question? Perhaps my recommendation would be that uh, you put an ID to her, diva, if uh, necessary. Yes, sir. And then secondly, I think she must be brought to the hospital. To the hospital. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Mr. Chair. For proper workup. Uh, for proper workup, sir. So, so we can. Okay. So, yes, the last. Yes, yes, the last. Uh, I think uh, after hearing the prognosis, the diagnosis of our doctor here, resident physician, for humanitarian reason, Mr. Chair, I believe that we have to uh, excuse uh, Ms. Cassie Ong from this proceeding and allow our doctors to conduct a thorough in examination on her because basically she's, she's uh, under our custody and we have to make sure that she will be healthy the next meeting or the next committee hearing that we require her attendance so that she can also be sane and healthy in answering, you know, capable of answering all our questions. So, Mr. Chair, uh, I would reserve, I would reserve, Mr. Chair, my questions in the next committee hearing, and I hope Ms. Kasi Ong will be good, though, will be in, in good shape. But we have to, uh, no, Mr. Chair, also, we have to remind also our doctors that earlier I heard that Ms. Kasi Ong refused to eat the, the, I don't know, your food that we, we offered her, parang ayaw niyang kainin. So we have to make sure also that she'll be, she'll be given the proper diet, at saka wag siyang mag, mag, wag siyang mag refuse. At this point in time, she has no right to refuse whatever food that we give her or kapag sa hospital kasi this will definitely affect her entire ano po, uh, health po niya. Ayaw naman natin pag next time, bigla may episode na naman. So, madidelay ng madidelay itong committee hearing natin, Mr. Chair. So, having said that, I thank the committee chairman for allowing me to ask our doctor and, and really report to this committee what really is the condition now of Ms. Ong. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank Mr. you, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chair. Congressman Fernandez and then Congressman yeah. I just wanted to be clarified, Doctor, no? Uh, kasi nakita ko to kanina na 
ang uh, kanyang uh, blood pressure was 90 over 50. And then, a while ago, when uh, she testified, kasi 1207 pa to eh. So, now, ano yung naging blood pressure niya prior to this... Uh, 80 over 40, sir. Ha? 80 over 40. 80 yes. over 40. And uh, what that uh, indicates? High potential po. High potential. And uh, her blood... Stress. Kanina mababa, it jumped to 167. Yes, sir. That's a normal consequence because of the uh, iced Yes, sir. But it is temporary. I would, I would presume, sir, it would be temporary. Will you uh, recommend uh, having her uh, in a hospital uh, instead of uh, being here? Yes, sir. I, uh, we, we gave the recommendations already to sec the Secretary General. Kasi kung kailangan dali sa hospital, uh, yes, bring her to the hospital. For proper workup, don't you, sir? For proper workup. Yeah. For proper yes. workup. So so we can make sure but that when she gets presented here the next time, that uh, we are aware of what she truly has, and we are we have already the proper medication or proper treatment. Do we, have a complete she, she do we have a complete facility in order to oh. find out the real uh, no, no, not condition? Here, sir. Not here. Oh, in that okay. case, having this kind yeah. of uh, blood pressure yeah. and the uh, staggering uh, blood sugar, yes, don't you think it's a uh, high time to bring yes, to the hospital? Yes, sir. Or at least two, three days. Just to give the proper workup, sir. Two to three days. Okay, you will be the one responsible for this, huh? because uh, yes, I, I myself, I will be recommending her to be yes, uh, brought to the hospital. So Puntang asal.